Hello everyone, this is Swati, working as Assistant Professor in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, Dundee. So welcome to today's lecture. In this lecture, we will discuss the conversion of one flip-flop to another type. So first of all, let us see the procedure for conversion of flip-flop from one type to the another type. So before that, we'll just uh, de uh, define a flip-flop. So the flip-flop is a basic uh, building block of sequential circuit, which can store one bit of information. So that is the basic memory element is nothing but a flip-flop. We have various types of flip-flops like SR flip-flop, JK flip-flop, D flip-flop and T flip-flop. In this lecture, we'll discuss how to convert one type of flip-flop into another type. Let us have a look at the procedure for conversion of one type of flip-flop into another flip-flop. So the first step, write the truth table of the desired flip-flop. So as you all know that the truth table is a table which shows the possible output of a circuit for the give uh, uh, for the possible combinations of input variables. So first we need to write down the truth table of a desired flip-flop. Next, obtain the excitation table for a given flip-flop from its truth table. So for example, if I want to convert a JK flip-flop into SR flip-flop. So here, this is our given flip-flop. JK is our given flip-flop. I want to convert it into SR flip-flop. This is nothing but my desired flip-flop. So the first step is we need to write the truth table for the desired flip-flop. So in this case, get the truth table of SR flip-flop which shows the states uh, that is the, uh, uh, the uh, next state of flip-flop for the given input. Next, uh, obtain the excitation table for the given flip-flop from its truth table. So here, in this example, we have considered JK to SR. So JK is our given flip-flop. We need to derive the excitation table. So what is the difference between excitation table and truth table? So we are from the truth table for the given inputs, we will be able to find out the presence. Uh, we will be able uh, for the uh, for the given inputs and the present state, we will be able to find the next state of the flip-flop using the truth table. Whereas in the excitation table, by considering the present state and next state, we are going to assume or else we are going to analyze the inputs that are applied to the flip-flop. So that is nothing but excitation table. So in, ex, in, flip, in the truth table, for the given input, input, uh, uh, input values and the present state value, the next state is evaluated. Whereas in the excitation table, the present for the known present state and the next state, the input inputs of the flip-flop are evaluated. So we need to obtain the excitation table of the, give, uh, of the given flip-flop from its truth table. That is the second step. Next step, append the excitation table of a given flip-flop to the truth table of the desired flip-flop appropriately to obtain conversion table. So we are going to append the excitation table of the given flip-flop to the truth table of the desired flip-flop. That means the excitation table of JK flip-flop is going to be append to the truth table of the SR flip-flop. So that table is called as conversion table. That means in the step three, we are going to obtain the conversion table by appending the excitation table of the given flip-flop to the truth table of the desired flip-flop. Next step four, after getting the conversion table, Obtain the 
equations or else boolean expressions for the inputs of the given flip flop in terms of the inputs and the outputs of the uh, the inputs and outputs of the desired flip flop so that means we are going to simplify the expressions for the given uh, expression for the inputs of the given flip flop so this can be done by using either or either of the simplification method that is either a k map or a tabular method so most commonly we will use k map method that is corner map for getting the simplified boolean expression for the inputs of given flip flop once the expressions are known now the next step is design the necessary circuit and make the connections accordingly so that means we are going to design our flip flop so from the given flip flop we are going to design our desired flip flop so according to the equations or else expressions obtained in the step 4 we are going to draw the necessary circuit and uh, um, we will provide the connections between them so these are the steps for converting one flip flop to the other flip flop so now let us discuss one example so that is jk flip flop to sr flip flop conversion so by following the procedure which we discussed till now so we will be converting a jk flip flop into sr flip flop so here in this example we are converting a jk flip flop into sr so jk is our given flip flop jk is our given flip flop and sr is our desired flip flop sr is our desired flip flop so now follow the procedure and we will be design we will be converting the jk flip flop into sr flip flop now the first step as we all know that first get the truth table of the desired flip flop so first step is so according to the uh, procedure we have seen write the truth table of the desired flip flop so this is here our desired flip flop is sr flip flop so now we will be writing the truth table for the desired sr flip flop so as we all know that the flip flop truth table sr flip flop truth table so which is first of all we'll consider the basic uh, sr flip flop truth table by considering the inputs and output so here inputs we have two that is s r and let us consider this is our q n uh no need so s r flip flop truth table q n plus 1 so now first of all these are all the edge triggered flip flops right so when the clock is at the raise i am considering positive edge triggered flip flop that means raising edge triggered flip flop that means wherever there is a change in the clock from 0 to 1 the state of the flip flop will be changing so let us consider we have a raising edge at the clock and the sr input is 0 0 so if the sr input is 0 0 the present state uh, sorry the next state of the flip flop is equals to the present state that means qn plus 1 is equals to qn if set input is 0 and the reset so as we all know that s is set and r is reset if s is 0 and r is 1 then the flip flop will be then the sr flip flop will be reset reset means whatever it may be the present state the next state of that flip flop sr flip flop will be 0 that means the output will be reset to 0 if set input is 1 and the reset input is 0 then the flip flop will be setting to 1 irrespective of the present state whatever it may be the present state so the if a set input is 1 then the next state will be 1 and if we have set and reset inputs are 1 1 then we will call it as invalid state invalid state means here in this case both 
presence uh, both the uh, qn plus 1 and qn plus 1 bar will be equal but it is uh, but we know that q and q bar must be complement to each other so that is why we are calling this as invalid state or else indeterminate state so this is a basic truth table of a self flip flop right so now based on that i am drawing the truth table in detail so by considering the present state values here so here i have drawn the table like this inputs outputs where the inputs are sr next i am considering the present state value when sr is 0 0 i am considering the present state as 0 so according to the truth table when the set and reset inputs are 0 0 then the next state is equals to the present state so the present state value I have considered as 0 and hence the next state is also equals to 0 Next, if the present if SR equals to 0, 0, and now I'm considering the present state as 1. So as we all know that SR is equals to 0, 0, then the next state is QN plus 1, which is equals to QN. As a QN is 1, so the output is equal, the next state is equals to 1. Next, S is 0 and R is 1. So irrespective of the present state, according to the table, irrespective of the present state. If S is equal, R is equals to 1, the flip-flop will be reset. So that means if 0, 1 and the present state is 0, I am considering. In that case, as reset input is 1, the output, uh, the next state is also equals to 0. Next, S is equals to 0, R is equals to 1. Now I am considering present state as 1. So as it is independent of the present state, if reset is 1, the next state is equals to 0 so 0 next up s is 1 and r is 0 so in that case flip flop will be set to 1 so irrespective of present state that means i have considered 1 0 and the present state as 0 and in that case the next state is 1 because independent irrespective of present state if set is 1 the next state is equals to 1 next 1 0 and the next state present state is 1 next state is equals to 1 if both are ones then it is invalid state that is in indeterminate state. So this is the flip-flop truth table. So which flip-flop truth table it is? It is a desired flip-flop truth table. I want to design SR flip-flop from JK flip-flop. So now coming to the next step. After that, after writing the truth table of desired flip-flop, obtain the excitation table for the given flip-flop from its truth table. So, what is the, uh, uh, how can we get the truth excitation table here? So, as I, al I already told you, excitation table provides the details regarding the inputs which must be provided to the flip-flop to obtain a definite next state QN plus 1 from the known current state. So, that means for the known values of QN and QN plus 1, what must be the input values that are, are to be applied to the flip-flop will be given by the excitation tape. So this can be, so uh, we need to get the two excitation table for the uh, given uh, flip-flop. So here in this case JK to SR, JK flip-flop is my given flip-flop. So I need to get the excitation table for the JK flip-flop. So first of all, let us have a look at the JK flip-flop truth table. JK QN plus 1. So if it is 0, 0, so what happens? 0, 0, then the next state is equals to present state. And uh, J is equals to 0, K is equals to 1. The flip-flop is reset. So it that means J and J is equivalent to the input of S and K is equivalent to reset input. So if reset input is 1, next state of the flip-flop will be 0. If set input is 1, that is J is 1 and K is 0, then flip-flop next state is equals to 1. If J is 1 and K is 1, then the next state is equals to Q and bar. So this is the basic truth table of a JK flip-flop. So that is when 0, 0, next state is equals to present state. When 1, 1, next state is equals to the complement of present state. Okay. So now based on this, JK I am considering the present state, I am, I am drawing the truth table in detail by considering the present state value. Inputs J and K, outputs 
present state and next state. Qn is always representing the present state and Qn plus 1, next state. So when j is equals to 0 and k is equals to 0, so Qn is equals to 0. So according to the table, j, jk is equals to 0, 0, then the next state is equals to the present state and hence present, as present state is 0, next state is also 0. Now, 0, 0 and the present state is 1. Now, the next state will be 1 because when j and k are 0, then next state is equals to the present state. Next, 0, 1, the flip-flop will be reset. So, when uh, uh, 0, 1, present state is 0. So, as the k input is 1, reset and hence the next state is 0. And 0, 1, present state is 1, then the next state is also 0 because k input is 1. Flip-flop will be reset. Next, 1, 0 and the present state is 0. Next state is equals to 1 because j input is 1, flip-flop will set. Next, 1, 0. Next, present state is 1. So, the next state is also equals to 1. Now, 1, 1. The present state is 0. So, when j and k are equal to 1, the next state is the complement of present state. So, present state is 0 here. So, the complement of next uh, complement of present state is 1. So, that is our next state. 1, 1. So, next present state is 1. And hence, the next state is equals to 0. So, this is a true tip. Now, how to get the excitation table for, from here? So, first of all, we are considering excitation table as I told you for the given present state and next state. We are going to identify the inputs that are to be applied to the flip flop. So now I am listing the combinations of present state and next state. So outputs Qn, Qn plus 1. This is the present state and this is the next state. So if present state is 0 and 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So now we need to get the values of J and K. So, for that, look at the truth table of JK flip-flop here and identify for the combinations for which the present state and next state. We want to write down the values of JK when present state and next state are 0, 0. So, now identify the combinations for which the uh, uh, combinations in the truth table for which the present state and next state are 0, 0. So, this is, I have shown it in blue color. So, the present state and next state are 0 for this combination and this combination. Any other? No. Here 1, 1, <coughs> 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Right? So, now if you observe the inputs here, for this combination, the J input is 0 and K, is in, K input is 0. And for the second one, j input is 0 and k, is, k input is 1. That means qn and qn plus 1 are equals to 0. When j is equals to 0, k is equals to 0. And also j is equals to 0 and k is equals to 1. So if you look at these two combinations, so j is common, which is 0, whereas k is 0, 1. So and hence I can write this as 0 don't care. J value is common which is 0 and K value is 0 1. So, I am writing it as 0 don't care. That means don't care you know don't care the value is either 0 or 1. <coughs> either 0 or 1. Next, next combination 0 1 which I have shown in green color. Now, Verify the combinations for which the present state is equals to 0 and next state is equals to 1. So, here present state is 0 and next state is 1. This is the combination. Right? So, now these two are the combinations for which the present state is equals to 0 and next state is equals to 1. If you observe these two, j is equals to 1 and k is equals to 0, 1, 1. So, that means I can write it as 1 don't care. Next, 1, 0, now which is shown in pink color. So, here, these are the combinations we need to check. So, here the present state is 1, next state is 0. Present state is 1, next state is 1, 0. Now, J value is 0 here, K value is 1. 
Whereas in this case, J value is one and K value is one. So K value is common, whereas J value and uh, J value is zero here and one here. So what I can do? I can write it as don't care one. So this is for Q and Z one and Q and Q and plus one zero. Next one one, which are shown in red color. So here, these are the combination. So Q and one, Q and plus one one. Here also Q and one, Q and plus one one. So here in this case, J K J is equals to zero, K is equals to zero. Whereas in this case, J is equals to one, K is equals to zero. So that means J value is com, K value is common, which is zero. Whereas J value is varying. So that is why I can write it as don't care zero. So zero 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 don't care zero one one don't care one zero don't care one 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 don't care zero. So this is the excitation table for the JK flip flop, which we have derived from the truth table of JK flip flop. Now what is the next step? Append the excitation table of given flip flop to the truth table of desired flip flop appropriately to obtain the conversion table. So now what is the conversion table? How can we obtain it? So conversion table is obtained by filling up the values of J and K inputs for the given value for the given Q and and Q N plus one by looking at the excitation table. Okay, so that means here we know Q N and Q N plus one. We are now identifying the values of J and K that is uh, 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 for the given flip flop. J and K inputs of a given flip flop by looking at the excitation table. So now, already we know the excitation table. So here, the desired flip flop is SR, whereas the given flip flop is JK. So I'm writing the truth table of SR flip flop. This is our truth table of SR flip flop. Truth table of SR flip flop. That is a desired flip flop. And now we are going to identify the values of J K. So here, if you look at the truth table, the present state is zero and next state is zero. So if you go to the excitation table, so zero zero, the J K flip flop excitation will give you zero don't care, and one one don't care zero. Next up, zero zero, again zero don't care, one zero don't care one, and zero one. One don't care. One one don't care. Zero. As these two are invalid combinations because when S and R inputs are one and one, so it leads to an invalid uh, uh, state. So that is why we are considering both K, uh, J and K as don't care, don't care. So this is the conversion table in which we are combining the truth table of desired ta uh, desired flip flop with the excitation table of given flip flop. Now once it is done. Now we need to get the simplified expressions for the inputs of the given flip flop. So what is the given flip flop here? J K flip flop. So we need to get the expressions for uh, J K in terms of S R and S R uh, S R uh, flip flop. That is, what we need to do? We need to express, or else we need to get the simplified Boolean expressions for the inputs of Given flip flop in terms of the inputs and present state of the given uh, uh, of the desired flip flop. That means here the desired flip flop is SR flip flop. So we need to express the J and K inputs of the given flip flop in terms of SR comma Q N. Now for that, so for the uh, uh, previous table, we need to take the column of J. And draw the truth table for uh, uh, sorry K map for J here. So by considering S comma R comma Q and as the inputs here. So how many variable K map we require? Three variable K map. So this is a three variable K map here. So S R Q N. So now if you observe the uh, excitation table here, J K. So this is the uh, column we need to consider. So now we'll uh, draw the truth table here itself, so that you will be able to understand. So I want to write uh, get the expression for J by taking a 
three variable k mark because we have three inputs here. Okay, so S, R, Q, N. Because I want to express this Q, J in terms of S, R, Q, N. So, I have to take three variable k map. So, you, uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. This is a k map here. So, now, for 0, 0, 0, that means SR, SR 0, Q, N, 0. The J value is 0. Next up. Next, SR0, this uh, uh, QN is 1. QN is 1 means this one, 0, 0, 1, for it is don't care. Next up, 0, this is 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 0, it is 0. Next, 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1, it is don't care. This is a don't care. Next up, 1, 0, 0, it is 1. Next, 1, 0, 1, it is don't care. Next up, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, it is don't care, don't care, right? So, this is our expression. So, now, we need to draw the, we need to get the simplified Boolean expression for this. So, we know how to simplify this. We need to uh, 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 form, as it is a, a three variable k-map, Try to form uh, uh, octet. If it is not possible, try to form a next higher group that is quad. So here, as I'm as I'm grouping min terms, that is ones here. So I can include don't case, but I should not include zero here. So I can form a quad with all these adjacent elements. So adjacent cells. So this is a, a quad that is formed here. So now, how can I write? How can I write the prime implicant for this one. So here, for all these four elements, S value is 1, whereas R and QN values are varying. And hence, I can write J is equals to S. So this is the value of J. Similarly, draw another K map for calculating or else for deriving the expression for K. So again, it is a three variable K map. I'm drawing this K map for evaluating K here. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, first it is 0, 0, 0, don't care. Next, 0. Next, don't care. 1. Next, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. It is don't care. Next, 1, 0, 1. So, it is again 0. It is don't care. Don't care. Now, I can form a quad. So, I have only one here. So, in order to cover this, I can form a quad like this by including this don't case. These don't case can be either considered as 0 or 1. Now, I am considering these as 1. So, I can group these four adjacent cells. Now, I, can, I want to write this. So, for these two cells, S value is 0 and for these two cells, S value is 1. So, that means for all the four cells, the S value is not common. It is varying. So, just ignore it. Now, consider these two columns where S value is 1 common and 1 uh, and uh, K uh, sorry R value is 1 which is common and QN value is varying. So, as QN is varying which is 1 here and 0 here. So, ignore QN and consider only R. So, and R value is also equals to 1 and hence I can write it as K is equals to so, this is the derivation of or else simplifying the Boolean expressions for the inputs of given flip-flop in terms of these inputs of desired flip-flop. So, now after that, design the necessary circuit and the make and make the connections accordingly. So, here if you observe the uh, equations here, J is equals to S and K is equals to R. So, for doing this, what we need to do? We need to take the given flip-flop. What is our given flip-flop? JK flip-flop. So, now JK flip-flop is given. Okay. And I want to convert it into SR flip-flop. So, without making any corrections because J is equals to S and K is equals to R. So, this is JK flip-flop. I'm just connecting it to SNR so that I will be able to connect this. Uh, I, uh, so, the inputs are J and K. What I am doing? But here inside we have 
SNR. That means what I am doing, I am converting J and K inputs to SNR. As J is equals to S, no other extra connections are needed here. And even K is equals to R, so this is uh, the conversion <coughs> of JK flip flop into SR flip flop. We will see one more example here, JK flip flop to D flip flop conversion. So here, what is a desired flip flop, D flip flop? Where uh, and the given flip flop is JK flip flop. So the first step is get the truth table of the desired flip flop. So truth table of desired flip flop. What is the truth, uh, de desired flip flop here? D flip flop. So we all know that D flip flop is also called as delay flip flop or else data flip flop. So whenever there is a change in the clock. Either it is a positive edge trigger flip flop or negative edge trigger flip flop. Whenever there is a change in the clock, okay, then the next state is equals to the input data given. So the truth table here is D and QN plus one. So here, if data is zero, then the uh, uh, next state is also equals to zero. If data is one, next state is also equals to one. This is this happens when the clock is raising edge. If you are considering a positive edge triggered flip flop, right? So that means whenever that means it is independent of present state. Whatever it may be, the present state. If data is equals to zero, the next state is equals to zero. That is why it is called as data flip flop. So now I am drawing the truth table in detail by considering the present state. So, D, uh, present state D and then, sorry, D is the input, data input and QN is the present state, QN plus 1 is the next state. If data input is 0 and the present state is 0, so the next state is equals to 0. And data input is 0 and the present state is 1, even though the present state is 1, if data is 0, the next state will be equal to 0. And data is 1, irrespective of the present state, the next state is equals to this is the truth table. Now coming to the uh, excitation. Uh, so next step, obtain the excitation table for the uh, 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 given flip flop that is JK flip flop from its truth table. So we all know that uh, that as we discussed, excitation table gives us the possible values of inputs needed to be applied to a flip flop for the given present and next state values. So this is the truth table of JK flip flop. So J is equals to 0, K is equals to 0, then the next state is equals to plus QN plus 1 is equals to QN. Next up, when J is equals to 0 and K is equals to 1, then QN plus 1 is equals to 0. And when J is equals to 1 and Q is e K is equals to 0, okay, then Qn plus 1 irrespective of present state, Qn plus 1 will be equals to 1. When, so here 1, 1 and the present state is 0, next state is equals to 1. That means it is a, a complement of present state, Qn complement. So even in the next, is, next case, 1, 1, 1. So the present state is 1 here. So the, compli, uh, the next state will be the complement of present state. So that is 0. This is a truth table. And we can get the excitation table. So by comparing the combinations here, present state and next state, 0, 0. So 0, 0, you have to remember 0, 0. The next, uh, the input values J and K. This is the excitation table for JK flip flop. So 0, 0, when the present state is 0, next state is 0. JK must be 0, don't care. Don't care means it can be either, it can be either 0 or Next up, when present state is 1 and next state is 1, the uh, inputs J, K, R, 1, don't care. And 1, 0, don't care 1, 1, 1, don't care 0. So now after that, append the excitation table. We need to get the conversion table. How to get the conversion table? Appending the excitation table to the excitation table of given flip-flop to the truth table of desired flip-flop. So here the desired flip-flop is D. So write down the truth table of desired flip-flop. This is our truth table of the desired flip-flop. So it is D flip-flop. 
So D0, uh, 0, 0, 0. So data in da whatever the data we have, the next state is equals to that data. So now the present state is 0, 0. According to the truth table, uh, excitation table, excitation table of JK flip flop, when 0, 0, JK inputs are 0, don't care. Okay. QN1, QN plus 1, 0, then the JK inputs are don't care 1. 0, 1, 1 don't care. 1, 1 don't care 0. So, this is the conversion table. Now, what we need to do? We need to get the expression for J and for K. That is by applying, uh, by using K map here. So, how many inputs we have? That means we need to express J and K in terms of D and Q and which is present state. So, only two variable K map is required here. So, that is this one. So, where D and Q and 0, 1, 0, 1. So, now J. For, so, for 0, 0, D is equals to 0 and Q n is equals to 0. Q n plus 1 is equals to, sorry, uh, J is equals to 0. So, this table we, want, we need to consider. J is equals to 0. And for 0, 1, that is D is equals to 0, Q n is equals to 1. This one, don't care. And 1, 0, 1. 1, 1, don't care. So, what we need to do? We need to form a, so this one I am considering, I need to form a group such that this one is covered. So, I can form a pair here. So, what is a min term or else prime implicant for this one? So, as D is common for both the cells, so we need to consider D, whereas Q and value is varying. Here it is 0 and here it is 1. So, neglect that K. So, now J is equals to D. Now, coming to the expression for K. So, we are drawing again a two variable for our K map here, Q n. So, now 0, 1, 0, 1. So, now first up, for 0, 0, it is don't care. 0, 1, it is 1. Next up, 1, 0, don't care. 1, 1, 0. Now, I can form a group such that this 1 is covered. Uh, so it is forming a pair here by including this don't care. So now coming to the min term for this, as D is common, so and it va its value is 0, we need to take it in its complemented form, whereas QN value is varying again here, 0 and it is 1. So that is why I can write K is equals to D. So that is the K map for the given, uh, for, uh, for the J and K in terms of D and QN. Now, after that, design the circuit. Now, take JK. Okay. Now, I require D flip-flop. So, for that, I need to uh, JK flip-flop symbol it is. This is the symbol of JK flip-flop where we have two inputs, J and K and one clock. And uh, the outputs are Q and Q bar. So, J is equals to D. What I am doing, I am I am designing a, a JK a D flip flop from a JK flip flop, and uh, use an inverter because J is equals to D and K is equals to D bar. So how to get the D bar? Use an inverter. So use an inverter, and uh, this will be generating D bar that is given to K. So this is nothing but conversion of JK flip flop into D flip flop. Now coming to the conversion of JK flip flop into T flip flop. So for doing this, what we need now the next next example JK to T flip flop. Here, what is our desired flip flop? Desired flip flop. This is T flip flop is desired flip flop, whereas JK flip flop is given flip flop. Okay. So now first step again, get the uh, truth table. Uh, write down the truth table of. Uh, uh, JK, sorry, desired flip flop, which is our T flip flop. As we all know that T flip flop is a toggle flip flop. T flip flop is a toggle flip flop. Toggle flip flop. So, if you consider the truth table of toggle flip flop, we have, okay, if we have a clock, raising clock, if the toggle input is 0, then the next state is equals to QN. Next state is equals to QN. That means the present state. 
If the toggle input is 1, the next state is equals to Qn complement. That means if the toggle input is 0, then the present next state is equals to the present state. And uh, toggle input is 1, the next state is equals to the complement of present state. So based on that, the full truth table of toggle flip-flop is so T is Qn, Qn plus 1. So we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So toggle input is 0 and Qn, that is the present state is 0. So when the toggle input is 0, next state is equals to the present state. So as the present state is 0, next state is also 0. Next up, toggle input is 0, present state is 1. So, next state is also equals to 1 because the toggle input is 0, next state is equals to present state. Next, toggle input is 1. So, the next state is a complement of present state. So, here present state is 0, complement of this is equals to 1. So, that is next state is 1. Next, toggle input is 1 and the present state is 1 here. Next state will be 0. So, this is the truth table of the given, uh, sorry, Desired flip-flop, which is a T flip-flop. Next step, obtain the excitation table of the JK flip-flop. As we all know that JK flip-flop excitation table is derived from the truth table, which is uh, G, uh, the truth table of JK flip-flop is this one, where uh, JK is uh, 0, 0, then QN plus 1 is equals to QN, and uh, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and uh, 1, 1, it is equals to Qn complement. So, this is our truth table, right? Now, we need to derive the excitation table for that. So, this is our excitation table. So, where excitation table of uh, the given flip-flop, which is a JK flip-flop. So, 0, 0, Qn, Qn and Qn plus 1, 0, 0. Then, the JK input should be 0, don't care. 0, 1, 1, don't care. 1, 0, don't care 1. Next, 1, 1, don't care 0. So, this is the excitation table of JK flip flop. Now, in the next step, we need to get the conversion table such that the uh, we are appending the truth table of T flip flop, which is our desired flip flop, to the excitation table of JK flip flop. So, this is our truth table. T flip flop truth table 0 0 0 0 1 1 okay 1 0 1 1 1 0 so 0 0 present state 0 next state 0 so according to the true excitation table of JK flip flop so present state and next state are 0 0 then JK should be 0 don't care 1 1 don't care 0 0 1 1 don't care 1 0 don't care 1 so this is our conversion table so, once the conversion table is obtained, now what we need to do, the next step is, we need to simplify the uh, expressions for the inputs of the given flip-flop, which is nothing but JK flip-flop. So, the inputs of JK flip-flop must be expressed in terms of the input and the present state of the desired flip-flop, which is nothing but T flip-flop. That means we need to get J and K in terms of T and Q and. Now, so here J, K. So, I need to draw the truth table for this. i sorry, K map for this and the K map for K also. Okay. So, by considering T and Q and as input. So, how many variables again here? Two variables. So, here T, Q and 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, I am writing the expression for J. So, here j is 0 when t is equals to 0 and qn is equals to 0. Next, t is equals to 0, qn is equals to 1 here. So, j value is don't care. Next, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So, again, what we need to do? We need to have, uh, mm, sorry, 1, 1, it is don't care. So, for 1, 1, j value is don't care. So, now, group these two such that this one is covered and a pair is formed. So, for this qn value is varying. For here 0, now for this cell qn is 0 and for this cell qn is 1. So, as it is varying, just uh, uh, exclude that or else eliminate it. 
whereas t value is common so which is equals to 1 and hence j i is equals to t and similarly for k i am drawing the k map q n 0 1 0 1 now k for 0 0 it is don't care for 0 1 it is 0 next for 1 0 it is don't care and for 1 1 it is 1 so now again group these two so which leads to again k value as t so j is equals to t and k is equals to t once these expressions are obtained now we need to design the circuit first take the jk flip flop okay and type as j is equals to t and k is equals to t take the toggle input and uh, connect it to both j and k flip flop so j and k inputs of the flip flop so that it will be converted into t flip flop so this is how we can convert any flip flop into the other flip flop for doing this we must be familiar with the truth tables and excitation tables of all the flip flops and also the procedural steps for the conversion of uh, flip flops from one type to the other type i hope it is clear to everyone thank you one and all like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates